Okay, we're going to use the digital multimeter here, the Amprobe, to measure resistance. Now the resistor, let me um, switch to macro here. It's a 100 ohm resistor, or supposedly. There's color bands on this resistor. I don't know if you can see them in the video or not. Those stripes here determine the value of this resistance. In case it wasn't written here, you could memorize those stripe colors. And then there's, over here, there's a value that tells you how close it is expected to be to 100. So it might be, oh, maybe up to a 10% tolerance or a 20% tolerance. Or if it's really expensive, maybe a 1% tolerance from 100 you'd expect the value to be within that percentage. Uh, when you connect the alligator clips, please don't ever connect them to our resistors or our capacitors. Instead, I want you to use the posts that are nearby. That will help our connections last longer. And then because we're measuring resistance, we want to remember to connect to the right places, COM and the ohms here for resistor. Then on our meter, we want to turn it up to ohms. And right away, it's measuring 99.4 ohms. I don't know if you can see the ohms down there. There's a range button that we could push, and that will change the range that it's measuring manually. This does have auto-sensing range. You can see the decimal moving. I don't know if you can see it now, but it says kilo ohms. So we can just cycle through the kilo ohms, and now it'll measure mega ohms. And of course, there are no mega ohms when we're only measuring 100 ohms within this number of decimal places. And now we're back to ohms. So it's measuring 99.3 or 0.4. Over here, we have a min, max button, and now it's recording data. And now it's going to hold on the maximum or the minimum or the average value. And if you had something changing a little bit, you might want to utilize that. If you hold this button down, it'll turn off the min-max recording. And also, if you're in a dark room and you can't see the reading, you can turn on the light here, the backlight. It's pretty cool. It's kind of hard to see on this video, um, some of the smaller text there. But in the, in the room here, it's really clear when it's lit up. Uh, if I wanted to measure 100 ohms, I mean... A, a 100,000 ohms. I'm just going to switch it here. So this is a 100 kilo ohms. And let's see what it measures here. What did I do wrong? Oh, <laughs> I need to push and hold the range button. Yeah, sorry about that. I forgot I had range on. So it was not auto sensing. So 98.6 kilo ohms. Down here there's a little K. So it's 98.6 times 1,000 ohms. So that's a resistance measurement.